Man, my profile about me is so empty. Blank, void, a reflection of my own soul and everybody knows it. If only I had one of those highly customized designs instead of this empty nothingness. Hey, hey Yuki, how did you get your awesome design? Hi everyone, this is Shishio Kun from MyAnimeList.com and welcome to my profile graphic and links tutorial. Now, if you don't know what one of these profile graphics is, I'll show you on my friend's page really quick. Uh, see, here's his basic page, it's got all his info and everything. And if we scroll down to his About Me, he's got this awesome profile graphic with the cute anime girl and his information displayed in a, you know, in kind of a different way with these little white bubbles and stuff. So that's one way you can do it, and some people do it this way, where they have um, buttons you can click um, in addition to their information and everything. And if I click this anime list button here, it takes me right to her list like that. And that's another feature people have on these. And um, one more thing they always have is they put like their favorite characters on their profile like here. And um, if I click one of these um, pictures, it will take me right to the girl's uh, information. So just like that, really nice. Through five steps in this video, I'll show you how to make a customized profile of your own with all those features. And even if you have zero experience with design, you'll be able to do it since I'm going over every step with you and you can follow my example. Now some people don't need help with making the design, they need help with adding the links. Um, you can just skip to step four, which is 14 minutes and 40 seconds into the video if that's all you need is the links. So here's a graphic I made for a friend of mine. It has all the usual features like the description and the buttons and everything like that. I'm going to be remaking it for this video. So you can kind of follow along and see how I did it for her. I'm doing it with your own design. And it has a clickable links too. I'll show you how I put the links into this as well. Now the first thing you need to do though is you need to get a graphic design program to make the layout. So you can google GIMP, G-I-M-P which is free and it makes high quality designs and you can use whatever program you like but I recommend using this program because it's what I'll be using in this video so you know pause the video download that program and install it and open it so we can begin step one Now once you've opened the program, the first thing you want to do is drag the backmost image that you want for your profile layout into the program. Now remember it's the backmost one, it's the one that's the furthest in the backer is going to be. So just put it in the program just like that. If you look on the right side here also, you're going to see the toolbox. And this has all the tools that you can do to edit your image, like using eraser and adding text, cropping, cutting, all that kind of stuff. And in case you lose it, you can just go to the Windows option up in the um, menu here on the GIMP program and uh, you can relocate your toolbar with that. Also if you want to undo a mistake you can use the edit function right here. Now that we have our backmost image in the program, we need to resize it for the My Anime List profile width which is 640 pixels. So go to Image and then Scale Image. And this thing I've got here circled, um, change width to 640 and then click this button and make sure it says PX. Click it and then hit the scale button here, circling everything for you. And it will be scaled down to 640 pixels, which is just the perfect size for the profile layouts. Now you want to export the image. And what you're going to do is go to File and then to Export. Click that. And you can rename it whatever you want. It doesn't really matter, ultimately. What you want to do though is go down to the button on the bottom right, which is export, click that, and then click export again. And now we'll have this image on our desktop to go back to whenever we want to. It'll be like the canvas for um, when we add our button and text. Now I know some people just want to use a part of an image for their profile graphic. They don't want to use an entire background. Um, like let's say I only wanted to use what's within this red square. You know, in order to cut that out and use that instead, you're going to have to use the cropping tool in GIMP, which I'll go to here and circle it for you. There we go. So click on that tool on the icon to activate it, and then go back to your design. And what you want to do is you want to press on the mouse or cursor, touchpad or whatever, and then drag it over 
the um, part of your layout that you want to cut out. Um, if you play around with it, you'll see what I mean. You drag it over and then, then release the cursor, then hit enter, and it will cut out the part for you just like this. And there we go. Now we can resize that like we're always supposed to. Resize it down to 640 pixels and export it. And we can use that as our canvas. Now, finally, some of you might want to make the backdrop out of multiple images. Like, say I wanted to make one out of this street scenery here, and this image of CC here. Um, the way we would do that is first we take the backmost image, which is, of course, this street scenery. We're going to drag it into the program, like so. And we're going to crop out the part that we want for the profile graphic. Um, and because most profile graphics are um, vertical, I'm going to crop out kind of a vertical rectangle, as you can see here. I'm going to pick uh, this part here, right by the fence, and just about there like that. So take that. And then you want to hit enter to, you know, cut the rest of it out like we just saw. And then we're going to drag CC in, put her in there, and we're going to use the move tool to move her around because um, if you have an image kind of overlaying another image, you have to use this move tool to move the overlaying image around on top of the other one. So I'm going to move her into a position that I think kind of fits this image. I'm going to move her down a little bit, but you can move your images, you know, however you want them, whatever you think looks best, because it is your backdrop, of course. So just like that, and it looks really cool, like she's waiting on the street for us. And um, I'm going to remove this watermark, too, that says Yohei on it. Just using the eraser tool, you can just kind of clear it up like that, and that's real easy. And then I could add other images if I wanted to, too. And oh, there's the eraser tool for you. I'll circle it for you. Um, if you want to find other renders, like the CC one that are already cut out, all you have to do is Google like the character's name plus render, and you'll find a ton of options. Uh, very popular characters have like hundreds of renders, so you can find a lot of uh, cool images for your backdrop. Okay, so now you know how to make one of these backdrops. Now you can start adding the text to it. The text is going to be your descriptions, top tens, that kind of thing. And um, first thing you're going to have to do is drag the backdrop you made in the last step into the, your program, unless it's already in there. And now once you've done that, you can double click this A on the toolbar. And that will bring up the text options like font size and color and type of font or font family. And um, I'm going to circle the part where you control the size at right here. And usually you want to start off with about 32. So that's like a nice big font to start off with to try to, you know, play around with it. And of course you can lower the font size if, you know, that suits you better or maybe even increase it. Um, also, you can control the color of the text you're doing with this part I've circled here. Um, I'm going to make it into white text by clicking the white part there and hitting OK. And now to start putting in your text, you want to kind of hold the cursor and drag it over the parts that you want to have text on. Like so. It's a lot like when you did the cropping thing, except you're adding text instead of cutting it out, of course. So we just do it like that, and then we can just type into it like you type in the notepad. And I could put in like, hi, my name is, you know, so-and-so or whatever. And you can do your description that way. Very easy. Now this text is pretty basic, but you do have some other options with the uh, text menu there. When you double click the A on the toolbox, you know, like, you know, you get your different font families and font sizes and colors and all that, so you can get really creative. But um, programs like Photoshop have really fancy text options that you might want to look into. And also you can do this online. You can generate fancy text online for your profile. Um, I'll show you how to. You have to go to a website called cooltext.com which we're going to go to. Okay. And this is how you spell it. Cooltext.com It's like a uh, logo and graphics generator as you can see there. It also makes buttons for your profile which we'll get into the next step. But right now we can choose a logo style which is actually going to be like the style, the, the fancy font we generate. Um, you have a lot of options here. It looks really good on like lists and profiles. This, I use this site all the time because I don't feel like, you know, generating it in like Fire, uh, Photoshop or something like that. So I'm going to choose the neon 
and um, yeah, I could have a lot of options here with the font type and um, in this box here, which I'm going to circle, you can put in any text that you want and it will make that for you. And I'm probably going to want to lower the size though for my profile. And I could put in whole sentences and paragraphs if I wanted to. And I can also change the font family to something else. I changed it to Futured. And that one looks really freaking good. It's going to look really good for that. Uh, I think it was a Guilty Ground um, profile layout. So, and you have just some other options down here you can mess around with. So we want to, after we do that, we want to click that button. And it will generate a logo and we can download it. And once it's downloaded, we can just drag it onto the profile like any other image. And then we can move it around like we sh like I showed you before. And now we get a really cool welcome for this. And I could just keep adding more and more cool text, generated text if I wanted to, and make a really awesome looking profile that way. Now let me show you how to add buttons to your layout. These buttons are going to be clickable links later, but we're not going to put the links in in this step. We're just putting the buttons in the graphic. And you can also skip this too if you don't want clickable links on your profile. A really simple way to add buttons to your graphic is just to use the text tool to make buttons that's, that are just plain text that say like friend me and message me and all that. Very simple. Another good way to get personalized buttons is just to make them or find them online or edit buttons you find online. As I did here, I've got these cool like uh, gemstones I made into buttons for this layout to kind of represent the rainbow crystals thing from Sailor Moon. I don't know if you watched that, but yeah. Also, don't forget after you make your buttons to put text on them, you know, so that they represent what they're going to do. Like right here, I put the text, you know, friend me and message me on the buttons that I had made. Of course, you can just use your text tool for that, or you can use cooltext.com to make that. And speaking of cooltext.com, you can actually use that site to make buttons as well. So let's go to it right now. So let's go back to the site again, and let's go to the button generator. I'll circle it here, and as you can see, you have a huge variety of buttons you can make for your profile. I'm sure you can find one that can suit yours. And I chose this button style for this particular layout, um, and we'll make it a friend request button right there. And it comes up on the button there, as you can see, and I can make the change the font size to make it bigger or smaller. And you have a ton of other options with the colors and everything like that to make it a little more personalized. You don't have to use like a pink one, you know. So then we just create the button with this blue button at the bottom here, and we can just download these. And then we can just drag it onto the profile, and I can just make a ton more buttons and have a really cool looking setup like that. Very easy as well. Now let's say you wanted to make a button with the character's face on it, like you saw earlier on my friend's profile. Um, that's not too hard. I can show you how to do that too. Let's say you wanted to uh, make a button with this character's face on it from this particular picture. Um, first, all we have to do is crop out her face with the cropping tool that we learned how to use in step one. Um, just take it and crop out the part of her face that you want to use for your button, like that right there. And then you hit enter to cut it out. And then you can resize it if you want to for your layout. Scale it down. I'm going to scale it to 150 px. All right. And that should be a good size for the profile we're making. Actually, let's put it on the CC layout. So then we export it because we need to get it separate from um, GIMP. And there we go. And we can close this project. As you can see, it's gone onto the desktop there. And we can drag the CC layout we made earlier in step one. And we can drag the Santa button into it. And now she'd be a button on this layout. And you can make a ton more that way. It's good to get all the sizes to match up though so they kind of go with each other. And of course you want to put some text on those buttons as well. Okay, so now you should have a complete profile graphic with your buttons and description text and everything like that. And as you can see here, here's the graphic that I made for my friend. After adding the description and buttons, um, I just recreated it. 
for those of you who don't want to add links to the profile graphic and you're finished with it completely, um, you could go to File in GIMP and then export your complete design. Then all you would need to do is upload that complete design image to Photobucket and paste its image link to your About Me profile like you would post any other uh, image. But if you don't know how to upload and paste images, I do show you in Step 5. Now, if we want to put links on our profile where our buttons are, we have to split it up into pieces first before we upload it to my anime list. And if you want to know why, this is why. If we look at my friend's original profile, you'll see that each button has its own separate image. It's already been split up. This is because we can only add one link per image. So we couldn't add a, more than one link to like an entire profile graphic. We have to split it up first and add an individual link to each button piece. And as you can see here, each button has its own little piece. So we have to split up the profile into pieces. And fortunately though, GIMP has a tool that splits it up very, very easily for us. We don't have to do it manually. That would be extremely tedious. Now in order to start splitting up the profile, just go to these lines on the side. You see it kind of looks like a ruler and drag them out. And uh, these are called grid lines. Just drag them out along the points where you want to split the profile, which would be um, splitting up every single button individually. So as you can see, that that's what I'm going to do here. I'm just going to drag them along the parts so that the buttons are divided from all the other pieces. And of course, you're going to want to do the same thing for your profile and split it up along all the buttons. So just do that. It's very easy, thankfully. Now, once you're confident that you split up all the buttons from your profile, you want to go to Image in the menu there, Image, then to Transform, and then to Guillotine, and you want to click that. Now, when we click Guillotine, it's going to split off every single piece into its own window, and we're going to export every single one of those pieces, and they'll all go to our desktop, and then we want to move them all into one folder. So I'll do it here. I'll export the first piece. There it is right there. And I want to do that with every single other one. And I'm just going to skip the video ahead here so you don't got to see all that. And there I've exported the last piece. And close it. And now I want to move them all into one folder. These are all the pieces to our profile layout, which we'll be using in step 5 to upload and add links to them, which I'll show you next. Okay, to start off step 5, we want to upload all those pieces in the folder we made in step 4 to photobucket.com. And if you did not split up the profile in step 4 because you're not adding links to it, you're still going to need to upload your single finished design to the site. So go to photobucket.com and click the home button at the top. And then go to the Create a New Album link on the right side. You also have to have an account to do this, so you know, sign up or log in first. After you create a new album, you can name it whatever you want. Ultimately, you just need to create the album with that blue button at the bottom. Once you've created the new album, go to Upload Photos and Videos links, circled there. And click the green button. And find the folder. After you click the green button, find the folder that has all the pieces from Step 4 and I want you to upload all those pieces to this photo bucket album that you made. So after that you can click the blue button that says view album or you can just scroll down and see all the pics you made. I'd recommend you go to view album since we'll be using it in the next part of this step and we're going to be using all these pictures to add them to your My Anime List profile and also add links to them. Okay, now open a new window or tab and go to your profile, log in, and go to the Edit My Profile button below your avatar on your main profile page. And scroll down to the box next to About Me. It's a big box. This is where you're going to put all of the information for your profile and like the graphic and everything and the links. 
After you've located that box, um, go back to your photo bucket folder and watch and listen carefully because this is very important. Identify which piece in your photo bucket album is the first piece of your profile layout that you split up in step four. It's always going to be the upper left or top piece. If you only have one piece because you did not split it up in step four, then that's the one you need to be looking at. And for this profile here, it's the upper left piece that says my name is Yelena on it. Um, that's the friend that I made the profile graphic for. Of course, yours is going to be different, so just identify yours. Hover over and copy the fourth link. It's always next to image code or BB code. These are the ones you need to upload the profile graphic to your um, MyAnimeList account. So copy that fourth code and then paste it into this box. It's the box we found earlier next to About Me, so do that. Okay, so now you want to get the next piece of your layout and paste it into the box. Now there's two ways to go about this depending on the kind of profile you have and the way it's split up. See if you have a piece to the right of your first piece, as I do here. It's to the right of the first piece, as you can see. I'm getting that one, and I'm copying the link for it. In the case of these pieces that are side by side on the layout, you want to put the links side by side in the box, just like this. There should be no spaces in between those side by side links either. Now if there are no more images to the left or right of that first piece, then you're going to want to get the piece that's below it and to the left. You're going to want to copy the image link for this piece too, but you don't want to put it right after the others. You want to put it on its own separate line. You do this because it's below the other pieces or piece you put up just now, as you can see there. So go to the end of the first links you put in, and right to the very end and press enter to go down to the next line, and then you're going to put the image link for the piece that's below it right there, just like I did there. It should look like that. So with those methods in mind, you want to post your other links to your profile graphic like I just did here with those three you just saw. So remember, if they're supposed to be side by side each other on the layout, paste the links that way with no spaces in between each other. And if the next piece you want to add the link for is below rather than on the side, you hit enter and go to the new line and paste the link there. So I'm going to fast forward through me adding all the rest of these links, but if you're having trouble understanding the methods of how you add links into your box like that, I'm just kind of go back to 20 minutes into the video and watch how I did it again. Okay, now that you've pasted in all the links, click the blue button at the bottom of the page. It says save changes on it. Uh, click it and then go back to your profile and your graphics should be all set up now. Now, if something doesn't look right on the profile, you can go back to the edit box and try to maybe fix it on your own, or you can post it in my club and we can try to take a look at it and tell you what you need to do. But I'd recommend you just start over on step five all over again. I, now that you've done it once, it should be a lot easier and you should get it right the second time. Okay, so now we can finally add the links to some of our buttons. So this is how. Let's say I wanted to add the anime list link, the link to my anime list to this anime list button on the profile right here. Now, what you want to do is you want to get the actual link and copy it. So I'm going to go to my anime list. I'm just going to go straight to it and I'm going to copy the link from the address bar, which is right up at you know the top of every browser. So you just want to copy that. Okay, now that it's copied, we want to go back to our profile and we want to view the actual button that we're adding it to. We want to right click it and go to view image and find out what the name of that button is. Uh, don't copy this link, we just want to know what it is. And you only need the end of it, you only need to remember the end of it. You can write it down if you want to. And as you can see, it's Sailor Moon Profile-00-03. So now we want to go back to the edit profile with that information. We want to find that 00-03 part. So go back to your edit profile box and find that particular part. And if we look here, we can find it right here. I'll highlight it for you. 
There we go. Now you're going to see an IMG tag, you know, in the front of that button there. And right before that part, I want you to put um, what you see me typing here, which is opening bracket URL equals and then a closing bracket. That goes right before the IMG tag, as you can see there. And then paste after that equal sign the link that you just copied earlier, which for me would have been the link to my anime list. And now go past the button line to the slash IMG tag, which is right after it. As you can see it right there. You want to go right to that part. And right after that IMG tag, you want to put in opening bracket, closing bracket, slash URL. That goes right after that close or that slash image tag right there. And after that, you can save it. And um, that link should be within that button now. So let's go save it. We click the Save Changes button. And if we go to the button, the anime list button, it should work now. And there it is, has a link. And if we click it, it should take me right to my list. And there we go. And that's how you can add links to every single one of your buttons and other images. So that completes this tutorial. And if you have any more questions, you can feel free to ask them in my club. Customize my profile with my own cat girl. Sweet. Master Kion, huh? Huh? <laughs> Teach me too, okay, Master Kion? <laughs>